Yeah, I was just uh, really pleased the fight we showed. Um, you know, we weren't at our best today for whatever reason, and we had to find a way to try to win that game. You know, they had a lot of momentum. They had a lot of things going for them at, at certain stages of the game. And and from half time onwards, our, I thought our ability to to find a way to find the best of ourselves individually and as a team was was outstanding. We wouldn't have won that game 12 months ago. We would have lost it, you know. Um, and, and that's a good good learning for us. You know, we're still not playing as well as we'd like to play, but, yeah, you know, I think there are a number of reasons for that. Some of them are outside our control. Um, but we'd like to play better, obviously. But uh, I couldn't be, couldn't be more pleased with the players. So Billy's already worrying about the debrief tomorrow. Has he, has he got much to worry about? Uh, I wouldn't think so. Uh, depends on how many beers he has tonight. <laughs> I meant as a whole. I meant as the whole team. How how yeah. brutal are you going to be with the assessment of today? No, no, no. Uh, look, are you pleased uh, overall with what you've done yeah, in the autumn? Yeah, no. I, it's very rarely any different to what I say to the boys after game. You know, I, I'm proud of their efforts. Proud of how they fought through that. Um, you know, performance-wise, these games are difficult. The guys are coming off the back of a uh, nine or ten game club season. Some of them even more. They haven't had a pre-season. You know, this is this is these games now are difficult for the players, and it's going to we're going through a difficult period in terms of of rugby, uh, where players probably aren't as sharp as as they normally would be, having not had a pre-season, and and we've just got to find a way to get through it. But when you show a uh, character like that, and you could see the 2,000 fans at the end of the game, you know, they, they had a great time and it was, it was wonderful to have those fans here. In a tight game like that, Eddie, did, did the fans make a, a little bit of difference towards the end? Did they drive you on a bit? Yeah, I'm sure they did. You know, you wouldn't have thought there was 2,000 people there. Um, and their enthusiasm for the contest was, was obvious. And, and I'm sure, you know, they're going home with a smile on their face. And Owen, um, how hard is it mentality-wise? How much of a shift in mentality is there when you're playing and you know that kind of one mistake's going to cost you a game in that golden point, in those golden points moments? No, I was, I was, um, I was confident in, in our ability of what we were playing. I thought, I thought we grew throughout the second half. Uh, obviously, obviously, it only takes it only takes one mistake, but um, you know, thankfully that. We played the way we did in the second half, and we got better and better as that game went on. And it looked like we was pressing towards the end, and you know it, it took it took a couple of it took a couple of chances, but we got there in the end. Yeah, and was there any doubt about handing over the kicking duties at any of those points in the in the golden moments? Uh, no, no. Um, I, I I I backed myself. Uh, obviously, I missed. I missed. Uh, I missed. Some that I definitely, definitely shouldn't have missed, and uh, made that game go on for longer than it should have. But <laughs> the way that the way that the boys um, attacked that second half and really went at it and kept putting us in positions to win it, I thought was outstanding. Just finally for me, then, yeah, how proud are you, Owen? Because England have been in sticky situations like that before and not won it. So when you look at your sides at the end of the match, knowing that you've you finally put the game away. How do you feel about your players? How, how pleased with you with what they did today? Yeah, massively. Obviously, there's always stuff to stuff to get better at, and we'll we'll look at that first half properly. But um, the way that we, as I said, attacked the second half and, and really took it took it to France, I thought. I thought, and um, you know, as I said, there was there was a lot of chances to win that game, which was which was my fault that that we didn't take, uh, but. The boys kept um, kept going after it and kept putting us in places and was resilient at times in defence and and when we did get chance they were they were at it and we got a couple of chances and, and finally got it over. Yeah. Russell, we'll come to you next, please. Owen, Eddie, congratulations on winning the championship. Uh, Owen, just continuing on to a point that Eddie answered briefly before, how special was it for you as skipper to? Parade that trophy in front of some fans here. Yeah, no, it is. It it is special at this time. I think um, you know it's, it's nothing. Nothing at the minute is 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 normal, so to speak. Um, and the atmosphere that them them two thousand fans created within the stadium, I thought was was outstanding. Um, 
it's not just them that 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 the that the boys feel. It's everybody. Uh, loads of support at home as well. So um, thankfully, we got over the line in the end for for them as well. And you guys had said in the week how you expected a strong French team despite all the absentees. What did you make of them, the opponent that you narrowly beat? Yeah, no, I thought they were. I thought they were good. They were they were challenging at the rook. Um, they they played tried to play in the in the right areas uh, of the field. Um, obviously got uh, got a try um, in that in that first half, which made it hard to get back into the game. Um, which which all good teams do. So um, I thought I thought they were good, but I thought our, our attitude towards the second half was brilliant. Eddie is a head coach. Um, what kind of job I wonder did Fabian Galtier and the team do to, to put in such a strong performance, given all the changes they had coming into this week? It was pretty impressive, I thought. Yeah, no, full credit to them. Uh, they played really well. They got a lot of good young players. Yeah, they're running a squad system. Um, you could see that they they played exactly the way they maybe their preferred team plays, um, and and the quality of the player was high. You know, we've got data on on a lot of players and the quality of their play at club level compared to the quality of play of the guys above them is, is the difference is very minuscule and they had nothing to lose. And you could see that early on, you know, they just absolutely ripped in and it, it gave us a tough contest. Um, and so full credit to, to Fabian, he's done a good job. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have let him to come watch some of our training sessions. Uh, he won't be coming <laughs> in anymore, that's for sure. Um, and to win a final, to go out there and win a match you had to to get a trophy. I appreciate it doesn't lay, I'm sure, a lot of goes from a World Cup final, for example, but it's another big step maybe for you guys mentally as you continue to evolve and improve? Oh, well, you know, you can only, you can only compete in what's put in front of you. And we've won the two trophies that's been put in front of us. Um, and that's a great accomplishment by the team. And now our target's to win the next six stations, you know. We just had a quick chat about it in the dressing room. We'll, we'll, uh, boys will go back to the clubs, the coaches will have a bit of a break and then we'll, we'll uh, reconvene and, and uh, look to play much better rugby than we played in the Eight Nations. So we're looking forward to that challenge. And just finally from me then, Eddie, three bits of silverware if you include the Triple Crown as well. It's been a, a really successful year with one loss. How would you maybe assess 2020 as a whole, not just this tournament, particularly given all the problems of coronavirus in the middle? Yeah, look, I think positive, mate. Uh, yeah, if you look at that side today that finished the game, of those eight guys that came off the off the bench, I think only one player had over 10 caps, which was Joe Marler. So it's a very young team at the end. Uh, you know, people talk about the French team being young, but we had a young team on at the end, and, and I was really pleased how we're, we're getting this competitive tension within the team. But it's also there's a great cooperation within the team to to help each other and drive each other to be better. Um, and so from that sort of intangible point of view, I think we've really moved on from where we were at the World Cup in terms of the the, the style of rugby we want to play. I think we're evolving to to get to where we're going to go, and we're just going to have to watch the the way laws are interpreted and 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 keep on working on our skills and our our tactical discipline in in terms of how we play. But yeah, no, pretty positive, mate. Well done. Congratulations, guys.